Hello people, welcome to our first AngularJS tutorial. Actually, uh, we had been uh, hearing that uh, so many phrases in the beginning uh, face too much trouble while learning AngularJS. They don't have idea that from where to start, from where to uh, take uh, good concepts so that they can understand AngularJS very easily and can learn to a fast level to a good level and can explore more. So for that, uh, keeping that uh, those things in our mind, we are creating this uh, YouTube channel for you all. Just uh, but yeah one request is there for you just please like our channel subscribe our channel support us so then uh, so that we can keep, uh, come with uh, new tutorials new things in AngularJS just keep on following us this is our first tutorial in this tutorial we are not going to discuss so many things in this tutorial we are simply going to create a variable in AngularJS how a variable is created inside AngularJS how they are uh, shown on uh, HTML page that is called the view in AngularJS Angular just contains three layers. First one is a view that is the, your HTML page. Second one is controller that is uh, uh, the script files in which we will write all the logic uh, for the HTML pages or HTML tags, whatever we have written. And the last one is database. Only understand these three layers. Don't worry, we will discuss all these layers in very detail later. But right now, this is the first tutorial. So I'm just showing you how to define a variable in Angular JS and how to show it on UI. So for that, uh, you you must have Eclipse. Any Eclipse doesn't matter. It's Juno, Kepler, Luna, anyone doesn't matter. And one server. I'm using STS Eclipse STS Spring Tool Suit. It is a very good tool. It contains so many built-in built-in features. You are not required to go to market and uh, marketplace of Eclipse and install it. So many things are installed uh, from the beginning only. And one server I'm using that is Eclipse 8. So for writing any AngularJS application, you will have to go to File, Select New, Create Dynamic Web Project. Dynamic Web Project means that uh, your uh, all the logics from DB to Java to UI, everything will be can be in one project. Right now we are going to take only one HTML piece, and suppose if we are giving it to we are giving name to it AngularJS first. Nothing complex we are taking, and then next then finish. This will create an AngularJS project for you and that will contain all the Java resources, web contain Java resources means all the Java thing will go here, uh, JavaScript resources and web content. So uh, go to web content to create HTMLs. Uh, there are so many deeper things but right now for practice just take new and HTML page. Suppose we are giving it Angular, Angular learning one and finish it so when you will finish it this will create one html page and the default tags for you that is html tag head tag title tag blah blah all those things always remember that before using any writing any angular js code you will have to include a library without using library your eclipse or your html page will not understand that which kind of script you are writing what you are writing because in programming language, nothing comes in from air. Everything needs to be logically written. So you will have to include right now, just Angular we are doing. So we will add only one library. And for that, you will have to go to some URL. I will show you where. You will have to go to some URL and you will have to... There are two ways to do that. Keep it in mind. There are two ways to add angular.min.js to your HTML file. First one is you can here in head tag you can add the url of that package of that uh, api or second is you can download that api or you can add it here how i will show you first i am showing you how to uh, connect it to api So I, I have searched this angular.min.js, choose the first link, this will take you to uh, angular uh, official site. So here you can see that uh, there is something, uh, some URL with uh, script tag src equals to some API. These are Google APIs. So simply copy this. This is, this is adding with URL, nothing else. So go to head tag, paste it. That's it. We have added angular.js here. Second way is. To download and add how I will show you 
for that type download angular.min.js and you will get fourth url go to this url and uh, somewhere here you will get sorry <laughs> some ads are coming so just go to here and you can see there is one uh, zip file just download that extract that file from there in after extraction you will see there is one js file with name angular.min.js just copy that and paste it somewhere here here paste here so you will get i'm i'm not i'm not pasting anything i'm just creating a new file just to show you that uh, how it will look actually so new other file i'm doing please don't do these things this is not required i'm just uh, willing to show you that how it will angular.min.js so that uh, js file will be something like this and when you will open that there will be so long and so many script in this so you don't have to do anything with that because this is the package we were talking about in the beginning all the variable definitions all the function def definitions all the operations or angular things are defined in this angular.min.js and that is taken care by the angular department don't worry you don't have to do anything with, with that and when you will paste it here in here so now since angle this your html page and js page are in same folder wave contains so now you are not required to put all these things simple angular.min.js and it will access that but i'm not going to take that i'm going to use api so i'm going to delete this this is not useful for us okay so now how to write see for angular js definition for starting to work with angular js two things are very important first one is a parent directive and in angular js that is defined using ng app and every application will have at least one not in pa parent will be only one sorry and controllers may be so many so many controllers can be there in one application but for learning purpose i am defining only one parent directive that is my app suppose i am giving it any name any name you can give so don't worry for that and second ng controller whatever is in red color sorry not red some purple or something so whatever is in this color that is that you will have to write in the same way you are not, this is the syntax of creating parent directive and controllers now uh, for now give a name to controller my ctrl i am giving you can give any name so now we have defined one parent app and one controller for our application now for writing a script in html page you will have to create a script tag if it is js script then you remember that you will have to create one script tag and then in that you can write js scripts so now we have defined our my app and my controller this is parent directive this is one controller so uh, now we will have to create one variable suppose i am giving it name app angular dot module and in this actually this app is created so that we can access all the controllers that will be in the all application because i'm telling you for practice purpose i'm putting only one controller but in an application 100 200 500 controllers may be there or will be there so pass that name of your parent directive whatever you gave above here my app and then one open and closing big braces i will explain this later why because these some independencies are to be passed in this but this is the first tutorial i'm not going to pass any dependency we are not going to use any dependency we are just going to define a variable so yes now our one of this name can also be anything whatever you want now we have created a reference for our complete application with the parent directive with this we can access any controller let's access the controller this my controller we have defined so to access that you will have to write something like this app dot controller again name of the controller my control ctrl comma function and open and close the function so our function is ready for my controller this will access this controller and whatever will be retained in this in this controller can be related to each other now in angular js two ways two ways are there to define variables variables first first is var and second is dollar scope now what is the difference between var and dollar scope first i am telling you the common between them common thing 
between that and dollar scope both will be accessible within the controller within the controller means i am to i have told you that uh, so many controllers may be there so uh, this is the first controller we have defined and if we define any variable using var or dollar scope then that will be accessible for only my controller if there are some other controller then that these two variables will not be accessible and uh, difference between them difference is difference is var cannot cannot be used to show on ui while dollar scope can be used it means whatever variable you have defined using dollar scope you can show it on ui now this and whatever variable you will if your dollar scope or any dollar scope dollar root scope or anything you will be using the dependency you will have to pass in this function suppose we are using dollar scope for defining variable so dollar scope dot var 1 this is going to be our first variable in angular js we are not going to put int uh, string like that whatever is string or integer or float value whatever you want to put you can put here and you can store it into the var 1 by using type dollar scope so suppose i am writing a string this is our first application in angular js okay now we are done now we have defined our first variable now how to show it on ui so if you see carefully this is a script tag in this we have written a script but outside of this script script tag everything is on ui like body tag so let's show it how how we can show it the dollar scope variable this is a message we are not saying is yeah this was just a message yeah now to show the variable on ui from controller whatever we have defined using var1 you can create two curly opening curly braces write the name of the variable whatever you want to show on ui and close it and second uh, let's take one more example by using var var test string equals to i am var defined and let's see i told you now that uh, this will not be accessible on ui but let's see what happens the test string is test string and close it now let's run the application alt r run run on tomcat whatever you have added into the server we start the server it was running up and running for me let it run sometimes it may take time so dollar scope variable right now this is our first application angular js both is coming null if you are saying why if you didn't understand i will explain you why so we can see that uh, this is uh, i was saying that why test string didn't come because i told you that where whatever you will define using where inside the controller this is the controller will not be accessible on ui while whatever you will use dollar scope or var1 and then you will try to show it on ui this will come so here the string is displaying that this is our first angular js application hope you all like this video this is our first video so we didn't we didn't go in vast slowly and slowly in coming lectures we will try to go more deeper into angular js till then wait for our next lecture thank you bye bye